We hello, hello, and welcome back. Ah, we're playing so much Tevi, I forgot some of the controls here. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> oh. What could be down? Oh. Radio then. Uh, map. We okay. Really, huh? Okay, anyway. <laughs> One would think that I should just, like, binge a game and just beat it before I go and play the next one. I don't do that, except maybe more Tevi. I'll probably wind up playing even more Tevi later today and completely forget all the controls yet again. Sure, fine. Ah, no. So all of that just to open up that. <laughs> I got one little aspect. I was really expecting just a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe. That is a big thing. A big issue. A big deal. Eek. Well, I got a little bit of stuff off of that, but it's like fighting creatures doesn't really give rewards. You know what I mean? That's supposed to happen. What's in here? What what can I find? Dumb. Dumb. I don't. Right through this collision down there almost makes me think that this was intentional, but. But I don't think this was done on purpose. Um. Judge? Odds? What the heck it just happened to me? Okay. How far can I go like this? Where can I wind up? I 
can keep fighting. So there's like collision underground. So you can like run around and do this sorts of thing. I don't know how exactly I got pushed through the ground here, but I did. And it's like, okay, well now what? Do I have to find a way to uh, respawn back at the checkpoint? Um. Yeah, the progress had better not be saved. So, um... Okay, so, who knows, maybe, hopefully, this time it doesn't clip me through the ground again. Nope! Two for two on just getting forced through the ground. I don't know if I'm doing something weird or what's going on. Um, I have to admit, this is very much not expected. Like, wh where am I supposed to go? Checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. There's a thing right there. Do I just go for that one? Oops. What do you know? Do 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 Am I going to get teleported under the ground again? Nope. Okay, so if I could go up from here, that would be good. Okay, if I could go up further from here. Further up. Aspects of the world are the essence of creation. They are the embodiment of the world's elements. Life, death, space, time, and essence. Till now, they have existed in perfect symbiosis. I got something, all right. Help me to travel around that part.
Oh, shoot. <laughs> the firstborn wiped away her tears. She took this as a lesson. She still cared for the free will of other creatures and had to accept that her siblings had a mind of their own. So I need something to be able to go through the, like, bad winds, the down drafts. That's just bad. So I can't go that way because I need to cut through some vines. Can't go that way because I need to deal with the drafts. Can't go up through there. That area I've basically explored. That's just where I started. Alright, where do I go then? See what's over on that right side? Look at, oh! One session dash. Hammer dash. Okay, so I don't have the ability to use these things yet. Kind of need them for this. Okay, where does this place lead me to? Sure looks like I've explored quite a bit of here. Not necessarily that spot right there, but I feel like there's a good reason for not having explored those pieces. What's a bit of... Hmm. Oh wait, yeah, that was the thingy that that had tried to uh, warp me to, right? The... this one? Try to want me to right here. If there are occasional pathways that I like haven't explored, but I feel like I haven't explored them because those are one way doors. <laughs> and gosh, it would be so nice if I could put those on the map and say, hey, no, I need to get in here from the other side just so I can know, hey. I need to get in from the other side. Portrait Vayners do very well if you can afford the time to just play them in like one session.
Looks like some enemies from like Rayman over here. <laughs> oh. Okay, no. <laughs> Easy enough. That's easy enough to get. Wait, was it really just that? Was that the only thing that I needed from here? And I could literally just die and leave? <laughs> Can you stop trying to claw at every wall and door in this place?
Oh yes, hello cat. Hello cat's sharp claws. Ah! I guess I could just go to the main menu and, like, reload, and everything would probably be much more fine if I did that. important what is it very curious minds want to know is that actually useful in the slightest looks shiny and important. I like the way the camera zooms in as I get closer to it. Essence trap? I thought I already had that. Wait. Did I not save after getting that in a previous episode or something? It's like there's a save point like right here. <laughs> Saves happen very frequently in this here game. Why do the spikes flash red? I don't, I don't like that. Maybe I could destroy those blue vines from earlier. Oh, another mini boss fight.
hand with those these. That's neat. Like, do the spikes flash red just so I know that they're dangerous? I I understand that they're dangerous already. Easy enough. Healing crystals. Oh, now I have two. That's all that is. I want to see what those two right paths so that they are. They have to be able to get through. Of course, to do that, I'll have to go down instead of further up. So, are you comfortable like that? Cat's lying on top of my hands while I'm trying to use a controller. He's getting a belly rub. I'm just lying there, purring, all happy, happy. He's happy because he gets to be with me. He knows good company when he lies on it. Nope, this looks like a one way door. But it could be connected to the lower area, so let's go down there and out. Check it out. That's also a one-way door. Maybe it's connected to those on the other side? So I should go way over there and try exploring? So warp here, right? Yeah, right there. Ow, my eyes! I believe both of these paths on the left are both unapplicable, right? <laughs> It's unapplicable. Oh, so what's with this? One way doorway. Again. I 
again, another one way doorway. Again, again. I noticed that I spawned in like a little bit above the ground. I wonder if that's their normal catch of trying to make sure that the character doesn't, you know, teleport below ground. Teleport them a little bit above the portal. So that's no, that's no, that's a no. That's a no. That's a no. Oh. I see one other possible entrance to that area. And the way to get it is to go back to the main menu. Imagine a Metroidvania, but like when you start playing the game, you start at like a random or a potentially random point on the map. Like there's not one specific spot that you start at. There's like, I don't know, five different points that you could start out at any of them. So it's a case of, like, depending on where you start determines what powers you might have access to before other powers. A well-made Metroidvania has it where you can explore differently based on what powers you get. I'd argue that the most well-made Metroidvania you would be able to complete the game without necessarily having every mobility power or, you know, travel power. Yeah, any combination of all of them except for one. Whichever one you might be missing out on, you can make up for it. No, every single path into that area is closed off. So it's like, okay, well, what do we do? <laughs> Where's this go? Underground? Oh, that leads to here? That's weird. Okay, I think going up there, I definitely don't have. Could try to go down from that. Way over there. the one area actually required the use of dash even though it is useful in other situations i don't think it's otherwise been like mandatory oh okay bye bye cinnamon i guess why well, not really because they're just gonna hang out just want to sit on the floor oh i know some ow I know someone who can survive with the want to just sit on a floor.
I mean, it ooh, sure looks like I can, darling. Can't go over there, though. Because that's blocked off. But it looks like I can come up here. Get another aspect of time for my twabbles. Oh, well that sure looks like an important room. Oh, am I going to learn how to like... No, I think this is literally just a check to see if you have the thing required to uh, counteract that. I literally cannot jump up high enough. Or can I? So again, I need the thing that lets me counteract the winds. I have not gotten that yet. Maybe something to interact with those little purple crystal patches or something? No? Maybe? So apparently I've already gone around through this path. There's at least something that I didn't get. I don't know why. Why is I just going to run me left? I don't know why. All I understood was that I couldn't. It's not up to me to question things. Psych. I totally question things all the time, don't I? <sighs> That's an under annoyance. <laughs> Yeah, only playing this game for about one hour a week. Ow. Really tend to forget the whole thing of, hey, yeah, these eight passages are one-way doors. Spend an hour playing. The only progress I make is remembering what I can't do. Okay, and yeah, another one way door. Well, 
all of this is for, all in all, nothing at all. It's like, hey, this feels like it should be something. So far, though, it's not. I feel like there's some weird disconnect uh, with this game and, like, other Metroidvania games I've played. With other games, you see something, and it's like, okay, I can see, like, what kind of ability that would be required to do this thing. In this game, it's I see a thing and it's like, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Like, okay, yeah, I saw the ring, so clearly I'm supposed to be able to get some sort of ring jumping power. Sure. I see the downdrafts and things above them. It's like, well, either I some way to pull up through the downdrafts or turn the downdrafts into updrafts. And then it's like, I see, like, you know, purple crystals sitting out of the ground that's glowing. It's like, <sighs> I've seen three different kinds of that already. Don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. And then plus there's some sort of a, like a currency thing. You beat an enemy, you get like two currency, but you need like a lot of currency. You know where to do some things like, hey look, here's a checkpoint. Oh no, you actually need 150 to do that, or Oh, hey, you can get some extra health. That's 75 each. Like, you have to grind so much. I don't even know. I don't particularly want to know. I did nothing in this episode. Probably gonna do nothing in the next episode. And probably nothing in the episode after that. The last episode, I did a lot. I found, like, that thing. I got, like, two new abilities. And now it's like, okay, where do I go?